That's what they it is. Joel, you got to go down for a minute. Yes, all day, every day. Joel on Sirius XM. Okay, so we are about to head on errands, and I guess y'all can ride with me today. Got my breakfast that you know my dad cooked for me. Every day he cooks, make sure his girl eats. So shout out to my amazing management team. Even though I work to live and I live to work, I hustle harder until it hurts. I work my fingers down to the bone. And once I pay my bills, it ain't nothing to come home with. Once I pay my bills, it ain't nothing to come home with. Once I pay my bills, it ain't nothing to come home with. Yes. Even though I work to live and I live to work, I love my management team. So I don't necessarily hate my job. I love my job. I love the amazing people I work with. I love the place I work at, all of that. But I just don't no longer want to be a employee. I want my own thing. I'm an artist. I need to be an artist. You know what I mean? But thanks to them, I have another day off. I am so grateful amazed thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you today is going to be an amazing day we're going to grow i am going to have a sunshiny outlook even though things are not as sun and shining um so first off i get to go meet my little baby girl money so i'm gonna go get her um lunch this is something that i love to do on Mondays for some reason because I'm usually off but today by me being off sporadically I'm gonna go up there um, and bring her lunch um, she wanted it I forgot the name of the place but it's a Caribbean place um, so we're gonna go there and then we're gonna take her lunch and then I have to meet up with my aunt we're gonna go um, Walmart shopping and then it's like two more apartment complexes because y'all know we are on the hunt for our lives for some place to stay this is really detrimental that's why I said I want to have a sunshiny outlook on today even though things do not look sun and shiny all of us just really don't know what we're going to do um but God did provide for my cuz the underscore almighty Mac he was looking for a place to stay he grace of God found him that place so he's almost locked in and secure so um, my aunt needs something now like now now because she is living in a hotel has been displaced since um hurricane i in last year of october uh y'all know i tried to interview her <laughs> to get her story out there but the kids they wasn't playing but it's a fun it is a funny interview but you know it's detrimental because um she doesn't know where she she has nowhere to go in a couple of weeks uh, it could be less than that um and it's nothing we're not finding nothing in the market here in orlando florida so it's challenging um she's been calling saying how depressed she is how but i don't know i like i was telling her yesterday god always comes through like it gets down to that moment where you're just what am I going to do? Because it was the moment, what was she going to do when her house was destroyed in the hurricane? And then God provided the hotel. And then it was, what am I going to do? You know, and they then God extended the hotel and extended it. So I'm like, do you not think with those steps of God always providing that he's not going to provide this last, last step? Now, I know that's easier said than done because for me, everybody can easily comment on somebody else um life issues but when it comes to their life issues they don't want they don't want to accept it so this is for me too how in the world can god not provide when god one provided i thought i would never see my husband again and then god provided our uh, visitations back even after i gave up the fight and said i'm not fighting no more i felt like i was i was asking massa honestly that's what it felt like to me it felt that detriment like i'm going as this smallest piece of human life begging the great great big huge doc can i please see my own husband because of something you did to me like it, it felt like i was begging master so i had too much pride to keep asking i said i'm not gonna ask anymore and god still saw fit to provide our visits back and we just got off a wonderful trip i got a um 
Oh, check the description box for my um aunt's interview. You can kind of hear something behind Miss Araya, <laughs> but Araya was telling her own story. But um, yeah, check that out for that. And then also soon I am going to be doing a story time of how our visit went. It was so amazing. I spent a awesome time with my daughter on the road. It brought back so much memories with my little granddaughter. We're making new memories. And to see my husband hold his granddaughter. Oh, my God. Now, she was fighting him. She was fighting him <laughs> because she don't quite know him like that. But, you know, she has to get to know him. <sighs> but when he got to hold her, when she went to sleep, I his smile. Oh, my God. That smile is the smile that he wore when he was out here free. I, I, I promise you, it took me all the way back when he was holding money. That's what that smile was. Like, I want for our family to smile again, genuinely, just like that, without all this oppression um, surrounding us. So anyways, let me go, because we about to be late. I got to go pick up the food and get to them within an hour. All right, guys, come on, let's go. Let's turn Joel back on so we can get in a good mindset. Okay, let's get to uh, how we get to it. Radio. Oh, Steen. Yes. Turn it all the way up. All right, I'll see you when we get there. Oh, if you just hear what he's talking about. The reason you have big giants is you have a big destiny. The reason the winter is so long is because your harvest is so big. Whoa. 13 years later, Joseph was brought out of... Okay, guys, so we are here. Let me see. What was it that money and my cousin wanted? They actually worked together. Money and my cousin, the underscore money, Mac. Oh, okay. They both want curry chicken, peas, and rice, corn for one and cabbage for the other. Okay, so um, both of them want the same. All right, um, I still got the breakfast I'm eating on for my dad, even though it's afternoon, it's past 12. And he knows, he's, he always puts my plate up for me because he knows I'm not going to eat right away because I get up too late um, unless I'm going to work. Then I'm grabbing the food and just running out the door. All right, guys, so let's go in. This is Negril. Okay, so it's called Negril Jamaican Restaurant. to get to them and then because they're going to lunch at one but i'm not that far from them that was a good deal i got two lunch plates for 12 dollars wow you can't beat that okay so i told y'all by faith we are believing that i'm going to monetize so i got my receipts here so let's keep this receipt for we walk by faith and not by sight shoot i'm legally blind anyway we can't walk by sight <laughs> girl um Anyway, so uh maybe I should yeah, I'm going to go and park to um my daughter's job and then I'll chop it up with y'all a little later when um she comes out until she comes out I mean cuz I got about 30 minutes. But how y'all feeling my dress? I know they a hot mess, but they I I like them a lot more than what I had going on. Y'all know I had um and I'm going to fix them up. It's going to take me some time to get the right smoothness to them, the the luster I want, because I'm going to have to work with them. But I like it a lot more than what I had. What I had, okay, y'all y'all don't know the story behind my hair. People were like, what do you have? Do you have dreads? Do you have braids? What is it? Do, do you have twists? Girl, I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> what it is, is that my daughter, Money, and her friend Keith had did my hair back in, y'all wait for this, wait for it, 
when y'all think they did my hair girl in 2021 for my college graduation they did my hair and you know i have the irritation with the the carpal tunnel and this and that so that is why i'm not able to keep up with my hair like i used to i am a licensed cosmetologist but you wouldn't even know by looking at me girl <laughs> And I used to do my hair every other day, um, but, you know, due to my hands tingling all the time and me having so much else to do, I have to be the lawyer, I have to be the mother, I have to be this, that, and the other, the artist and all of that to the point where I don't really have the time to do my hair because I measure on a scale like what's more important work on this project, do my hair, what's it? which doing your hair is really, really, truly important. Um, because if you want to be taken seriously, people look at how you look. You know what I mean? Um, people judge you by the outward appearance. God is the one that judges by your heart. So these people ain't God. They, ju they judge you by the outside. <laughs> so they did my hair really cute for my um, graduation in 2021. Um, but it's been in there since then. And they started, some of the um, twists started sliding out and I just been keeping them in a little baggie somewhere. I thought I was going to put them back in. That never happened. And then it became to where the roots started growing out so much that it started locking. So it was like I had a locked dread part with a twist hanging on the end. So people are like, oh, your dreads. And I'm like, I don't have dreads. I have twists. <laughs> girl you got dress i had too much new growth how could this be some twist the new growth was ridiculously long so it was like this with a thing hanging on the end the the twist so i would always put it up in some type of style so that you could not um differentiate the two or whatever and i always wore my hair wrap now i did wash my hair while i had this situation i don't even know what it was going on i did wash my hair all the time but ended up that to go see Marcello, I finally decided to detach the last of the locks, um, locked synthetic hair that was in my hair. And now this is what I'm left with. So we're going to work with this. Um, the top of my hair had started breaking off a lot of the dreads. I've lost, uh, well, locks. People like to call them locks today. We used to call them dreads. Um, but it's a whole uh, political thing behind that because you don't want to call your hair dreadful, right? So, okay. But um, now these are my locks and we're going to work on that so we y'all can follow my lock journey. <laughs> I am so glad to have him. Marcello's glad I have him. He always wanted me to have locks. Um, you know, that's what oh, he was so fine with his. He had his locks um, prior to going to prison. He always wanted me to have some. And plus, it's easier for me to maintain. By me being so busy, I ain't got time for it, girl. My hair is the last thing on the list. So, all right, let's go ahead. Let's get to money. Let them eat. And then we'll go ahead on to my aunt and we're gonna go to another couple of apartments and that's it let's go okay first we gotta get joe back on come on joe one great reason all right let's go i decided i better stop and get gas king king lose here's my point the training but when this company called that wanted to buy what you're asking she sold the property what's interesting is 15 years earlier. An inmate at a Florida Department of Corrections institution. To accept this call, press zero. To refuse this call, your current balance is one dollar zero cents. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring. You got no money recording. on the phone. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. All right, it's gonna be short though, cause it's only a dollar and some on here. What? Who changed? My food didn't change. I sent it by the time. Yeah, you know you don't got quiet. Oh. All right, there go, cuz. Uh -oh. Hey, money. She got him back here trying to kill me, y'all. Okay, I got something Mikey, else. Thank you. Yes, I did. When I, I got when something else for you, you money. Money. I got something else. What? 
What you got? Is it money? A gas? You can use it at Sam's. Fifty dollars. Oh, Is that for her God birthday or something? Man. No, just helping her out. I need help. No, you we don't. all need help. No, uh, <laughs> can I, I paid y'all phone bill. Okay, let's um add this money to this phone. All right, that's how she. Where you, where you off? Tomorrow. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. All right. What you say? Tell my daughter I love her. Hold on. Money, your dad love you. Okay, she says she love you. Okay, so we done made it to my aunt's. All right, guys, so I am here. Um, I wanna, I got maybe eight minutes left on this video. We might as well complete it out. So let me, let me first turn that off so you can't hear the car. But I wanna talk about visitation a little bit. Okay, so we went, y'all know that this was the first time of us all visiting as a family since Miss Pr Princess was born. Um, our granddaughter, Miss Princess, right? So the first, I did vlog that too. The first time that Marcello got to see our granddaughter, um, she was just like a month and a half old, right? At that point, um, I could not visit. So it was, I drove up there with money, but we had to stay in a hotel. And um, while she went to visitation. I dropped her off to visitation um, and picked her back up. That was so eerie being in that place. Um, Y'all know how our visitations were bogusly canceled. Um, I can try to find that story time and link it in the description box below. But it was canceled and they was told, I was told that it was indefinite and they laughed as I walked off crying. I thought from that point, I would never see my husband again, to be honest, unless he came home. Okay, so we were fighting it for a while or whatever. They denied it. They wouldn't, they wouldn't budge. And it ended up being that Marcello said he was going to fight, 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 fight to we get our visitations restored. I had let the situation go. I said, it's out of my hands. I don't want to put no more energy on it. I don't, certain situations bring me down when I keep dealing with them. And this is something I do not want to deal with any longer. Okay. So I let it go. And then, you know, miraculously God moved and he restored our visits. I visited him once before um, by myself, like last month. And now this was our first time together as a family unit. Me, Marcello, our daughter, Money, and our granddaughter, Princess. Oh my gosh, it was so nice. Now, the first day, we did a two-day visit, right? Saturday and Sunday. The first day, because Marcello is so far away, and I closed, I happened to close the night before. Like, it would have been so much easier had I opened that that um, Friday night, I mean, Friday day, and then got off with enough time to do what I need to do to prep to go on vacation. Well, not vacation, to visitation. And then go get some sleep and then get on the road. But by me closing, by the time I got home, it was after midnight. And really, truthfully, I needed to be on the road by 4 a.m. to get to Marcello in a decent time for visitation. Um, what happened was I had two hours. I was sitting up listening to Rajiva the Duck. I always keep trying to say Diva. Rajiva the Ruler. Um, I was watching her videos. And also, I'm going to, she's my new Project Reach the World. I just did Shant Shantia Deja. I did Jordan the Chosen One. I did a couple of my favorite YouTubers. But she's going to be the next one that I draw and um, listen to a couple of her videos as I'm creating my project reached the world drawing for her but anyway so I listened to her and um as I was listening to her I was trying to do my hair my hair was a mess still and I had no time so I spent like two hours with that then it got to the point where it was um I had two hours to sleep 
And for some reason, the minute my pillow hit my head hit that pillow, I couldn't fall asleep. I don't know if it was the nerves. And as tired as I was, for some reason, I could not fall asleep. So it was that um, for two hours, and I laid there a long time, long time, long time. It could have been nervousness to see him, or I don't know what the heck it was. But I finally fell asleep, and it seems like just like that, that alarm was going off. That day, I couldn't snooze, 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 because it can end up that I sleep so long that we miss visitation for the first day, right? Then I would have rented the hotel and actually rented the car for no reason at that point, if I fool around and do that. So I had to push myself. I got on the road. I drove for about an hour and a half, and I was like, I cannot. I cannot. I said, money, can you drive? Money didn't get, she got way more sleep than me, but she didn't get enough sleep also because princess keeps her up through the night and stuff like that. Y'all know how it is being a new mom. So, but money had enough sleep for me because other than that, we would have had to pull over at a rest stop and just lay that seat back and go on to bed. Like, because I don't play with the road. The road is very dangerous when you're driving sleepy. Um, I was trying to listen to some of my favorite YouTubers um, while I was riding, but it was like nothing was waking me up, giving it, me that stimulation. So I knew I needed to go to sleep. So I get in the back seat with Miss Princess. Princess tapping on me like, Grandma, wake up, wake up. She, she can't talk, but I know that's how she was tapping on me. So um, end up, um, I finally I wake up, but we're almost there. I was supposed to do finish my hair, the top, the crown of my hair during visitation. I never did. So I ended up having to braid these, but these are locks that were supposed to be twisted. <sighs> I get up, I fix my hair the best I can. By the time we get there, we're in count. You already know if you're going to visitation, you do not want to be caught in count because you know, they're going to sometime they don't count correct. They got a recount, master roster, and all that stuff. Like, that's too much. Um, and it could take a long time. Then you got to wait after count for them to come down. So we get caught in count, and um, he comes down. By that time, it's almost 12. Um, I was wondering why, okay, up north, their visitation is from 8 to 2. I finally, it finally clicked in my brain why. 